Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are building an alchemy lab as part of our Easy Base Editions series. The requirements are on screen now, and of course it is a mod free build. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we started off with of course a simple base plate of insulated wooden ceilings held up by pillars, built in the same fashion as shown just in the blueprint. After it was constructed, I used the pillar trick to place pillars in the corners which will be used to shape the build. As I've mentioned before, if you wish to keep things simple, or you don't really like the look of the pillars, feel free to omit this step entirely. If you do use this trick, I recommend owning the Riders of Hyboria DLC, as you can replace the pillars with stable pillars to make windows and sloping sides snap, and then you can swap the pillar back out to the original one. Next, after I had placed the base walls, I began on the walls for the ground floor. We're going to have a simple one tile high entrance with an open gable leading into the build. From there, I built the walls two tiles high, using the real windows trick to build windows on the wedge section. If you don't know how to do that, click the card in the top right for my easy to follow guide. Again, I built the walls two tiles high on all sides apart from the 2x1 on the left, which is a storage cabinet. Next, I covered the walls using insulated wooden ceilings, including a hatch frame on the back 2x1 with a ladder leading upstairs. Once the ceilings were placed, I built the pillars up again by one tile high, and placed the insulated wooden walls, including a rail window on the back side, to enclose this floor at a total height of one tile. Next, I used the sloping sides to build roof gables to create an intersecting open gable roof. I then used insulated wooden roof pieces to close off the roof on the first floor and on the ground floor too, and given how simple this design is, finishing off the roof was extremely easy. With the construction finished, we could then decorate. I added some fences outside to create a small yard, into which I then placed some planters. This isn't necessary, but as an alchemy lab I do think it's a good idea to have some planters to grow essential herbs, which is exactly what this yard is designed to do. I added some wooden spikes into some of the planters to give some visual decoration to the herbs, alongside a brazier and an alchemy sign on the entrance wall. Inside I placed a hanging brazier and began on the ground floor decoration. There are tons of ways you can take this, but I personally went for something aimed more at the mid-game that uses an improved alchemist bench and improved fireball cauldrons. I also included a central countertop to hold some alchemy decorations, alongside two preserving boxes on the other side of the counter to keep ingredients fresh. Within the storage cabinets, I of course added in some chests using the shelves trick I've shown you before. With 8 chests per cupboard, 16 in total, these two cabinets can hold a total of 720 stacks of items. Next to the ladder, I added a table with a grinder and a fluid press next to it. This build unfortunately does lack a casting table, but to me that should be placed in the blacksmith's workshop instead, though if you did want it in here you could expand the build to include it. Finally, I headed upstairs, adding a bed and a wardrobe, alongside some tables onto which I'd later place decorations. And there we have it, an alchemy lab designed to slot right into the walls of your pre-existing base. This build is based on a sort of a medieval townhouse and it works nicely with the material palette. Of course all the interior decoration is just a suggestion, as I went for a mix of practicality and aesthetics. I did end up including a second alchemy bench in the bedroom to improve the crafting capability of this build, but if you have a different vision of the interior decoration you could probably make some good improvements. Back to the material palette briefly, this is of course not the only way this build works. It's designed to fit pretty well with a lot of other materials as you can see here, so regardless of your material choice, the design should fit almost any palette or theme. Thanks for watching, it seems you guys are enjoying the EBA build so far. I've got a couple of suggestions and ideas for future ones, but if you have more, feel free to leave them in the comments so I know what is most useful to you guys. 
If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. The links to my Twitter, Discord, Patreon and various sponsored discounts are also available in the description below. As always, if you have suggestions for future content you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to become a member of the Coffee Cult by joining our Discord, and if you'd like to support the channel further, become an esteemed Coffee Cultist by joining us over on Patreon. As a patron, you'll get sneak peeks of new videos before they're uploaded, full-size blueprints, wallpapers in both 1080p and 4K resolutions, Discord roles, and more. On that note, a massive thanks to all of our esteemed Coffee Cultists on screen now for continuing to support the channel. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.